What's up guys, thanks for coming to Gaming Candle with me. Today I'm going to be showing you how to stream Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon to your PC using Snickerstream and KitKat. People seem to think there needs to be some sort of update to both programs to allow them to work with Pokemon Ultra Sun and Moon, but everything is in place for these to record perfectly over NTR custom firmware. If you guys don't know how to use Snickerstream or KitKat, I'm going to put a couple of links in the description as well as a link showing you guys how you can stream this over to Twitch or to YouTube in case you're interested in starting a channel. This is going to be super easy and you might even kick yourself for not knowing how to do this already. Let's get it started. Down here on the 3DS, go ahead and select NTR Custom Firmware and choose 3.6. Now that you've loaded NTR Custom Firmware on your PC, go over to KitKat Slim and click on the Memory Patch. Now it's going to ask you if you want to disable the in-game online services with this temporary patch, go ahead and click yes. After the patch is applied, all you have to do is click connect, and you're now connected. Now all we need to do is launch Pokemon Ultra Sun and Moon. As you can see, the intro loaded fine, and I can go ahead and launch my save file. Now normally this would be where the game would freeze and stop, but because we applied that patch, you can see, here we are. Everything's working fine. Now I'm going to show you how you can use Snickerstream to get this running. Basically this is the new version of Snickerstream with the built in NFC patch. Now you can just click this NFC patch button after launching NTR custom firmware on your 3DS. It should say NFC patch sent successfully. Go ahead and hit OK. Now all you need to do is click connect. So now we can launch into Pokemon Ultra Moon. Launch my save file. And yet again. Everything working absolutely fine. And there you have it. I hope you guys are now streaming Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon over to YouTube or Twitch using Snickerstream or KitKat. If you happen to think that the new Snickerstream is basically killing the old KitKat, then let me know down in the comments below, and I might just have to give up on editing KitKat altogether. If you guys haven't hit that like button, you could probably do that, as well as that big red subscribe button. I know it's tempting to click it. Just do it. Just do it, man. I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.